Allahu Welcome to our audience that is viewing from home during this lockdown. Um, my name is Kashmir Maryam and this is my sister Aisha. Aisha, would you like to introduce yourself and what we do as the Strangers Organization? Yes, assalamu alaikum, uh, bismillahi wa salatu wa salam ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Um, my name is Aisha and I am part of an organization called The Strangers and our goal is to revive the message of Islam and we do this through uh, different different means. One of the means is through spoken word poetry, through the collective voice of Muslim poets around the world um, and just being able to clear up misconceptions. So that's our main goal. Um, yes, cash. Yeah, excellent. Jazakallah khair. Uh, so the work that we do as the strangers is we host a lot of uh, poetry slams. A lot of the time they're, um, you know, in person. And so we have our poets go up on stage. They compete for trophies um, and prizes. And we just have a good time. It's basically to platform the Muslim voice so that we can portray the true message of Islam through the art of spoken word poetry. Um, so it's a creative yes. art, it's something that is uh, powerful and empowering. Um, and that's what we wanted to do for you today. So we have a great show lined up for you all. Um, we hope that you enjoy watching. Um, and I just wanted to clarify a few things that are a little bit different about uh, slam poetry uh, versus written poetry or any other type of poetry, Shakespeare, whatever, you, whatever type of poetry you are into. Um, so the difference between slam poetry is that it is um, about the content of the poem, so how deep is the lyrical content, how um, how relevant is it to the audience, how how powerful is the 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 methods that are used to articulate what is being said in the poem, and second of all, um, the the powerful thing about slam poetry and probably one of the more important traits of slam poetry is that it is heavily about the way in which the message is revealed to the audience. So it's not just about reading from a sheet of paper, it's about how that message is delivered. Um, so that's something that we put a lot of emphasis on as the strangers and we do uh, with all of our poets as well. So inshallah today you'll be hearing some slam poetry and um, I hope that you enjoy the show and all of the poets that we have lined up. Uh, there are three simple rules that we have for the poets. That is number one, the content has to be um, appropriate, so no curse words. Um, uh, there, there is no inappropriate content, um, and our poets do understand that. The second rule is that uh, we have to make sure that the poem is under five minutes. Um, and number three is just to be respectful of everyone that is up there performing. Everyone is sharing something that is meaningful to them, and that's something very personal, and we have to respect that because that's very sanctified. Um, so yeah, so without any further ado, I would like to introduce our judge for this evening. Her name is Tahani Salah. Is Tahani there? I'm here. As Assalamu alaikum, Tahani. How are you doing? Alhamdulillah, we're doing good. Perfect. So I have Tahani your bio here. I'm just going to read it. And um, hopefully that will explain to everyone your background in poetry. I personally, I know Tahani from before. Um, she's a slam poet. So she knows a thing or two, or more than a thing or two about performance. And that's one of the reasons we chose to have her on our platform today. Um, and that's something that means a lot to us because I think to be a writer is one thing, but to be a performer is something, um, is something else. So, uh, Jazakallah her for joining us today. Thank so, you. Tahani Salah is an educator, poet, and activist based in Brooklyn, New York, with a bloodline to Palestine. She's a graduate of Columbia University, a former professor of curriculum development at the Cooney Graduate Center. She's also a member of the New York Rican Slam team. She competed internationally and holds many slam titles from Europe to Africa. Tani has also been featured on HBO's Deaf Poetry Jam. She is a passionate about peace and activism and carries that into the classroom as an educator, showing how life creates art and using it all as a tool of expression. As an artist dedicated to bringing light and solutions to communities where people's voices have been silenced, Sahani has performed at a number of world famous stages, including the Apollo Theater in New York City, to universities in the US, South Africa, Germany, Canada, Palestine, Jordan, and many more. <laughs> Mashallah. Okay, so Sahani, you told me to pick one or two lines from your bio, but I felt like everyone needed to hear that. Um, so welcome. Next on is Sister Amira. 
I hope I pronounced it, Amira. Okay, perfect. Amira Mustafa, please introduce yourself and um, go for it. My name is Amira. I am originally from Philadelphia, but I'm living in Tampa, Florida right now. Uh, I come from a very diverse background, one of which is Palestinian. So, alhamdulillah, the poem I'm going to read is about the people in Gaza and honestly anyone around the world who's suffering, and it's called Searching for Humanity. Bismillah. One day I woke up to crying, running down his face with tears. My heart ached as I looked at him and knew I could not wash away his fears. His little body endured so much, yet his years remained so few. And the justice that he so deserves is long overdue. When will the world open up its eyes and see all this inhumanity? No, instead it looks down upon him with such insensitivity. You see, Palestine is and was the home buried deep within our hearts. The blood that flows through our soul, giving life to all our parts. Palestine is the birthplace of our sisters and our brothers and the burial place of even more of our fathers and our mothers. So long Palestine has stood against all the fury and the guns. Yet time and time again, it's Israel that receives international's excessive funds. So let me take you on a journey. So let me take you by the hand. Then maybe through the eyes of another, you will begin to understand. Is apartheid too strong a word to make you see what, can I believe that you will try to see things from a different point of view. The year was 1948 when so many lost their lives, when the bombs that fell upon them were like a swarm of fireflies. Some who retell say it was as if the stars were falling from the skies, and still at night they awake to hearing all those heart wrenching cries. Dar Yassin was but one of the many cities massacred that year. Before nightfall, over 250 people systematically murdered as the land was washed with children's tears. The death toll has been so vast that through my breath it's hard to speak. And it's sad that in 2020, still has not yet reached its peak. Now don't even get me started on Hafrada, the segregation wall that rises as a prison over eight meters tall. In comparison, it makes the Berlin Wall look like nothing but a joke, dividing people from their land, dividing them from their common folk. So why are so many people misguided? Or has the whole world just gone blind? Is it because they're using their own kind? Well, we are all brothers and sisters in the fight for the right of those who cannot speak out. So I'll leave you with just one last thing, the most important thing without a doubt, that the greatest enemy of knowledge is not ignorance itself. It's the illusion of knowledge, the misconceptions of one's true self. Jazakallah so much, Amira. That was phenomenal. I can see how uh, close that was to your heart. Uh, you know, you had a lot of emotion when you were reciting, and that's something that, that brings a lot of beauty to, to the poetry. So thank you so much for sharing. And um, you mentioned that you were from Philadelphia. I'm actually based in Philly. Whereabouts are you from? Northeast. Oh, okay. The North okay. North. okay. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us. Actually, most of the pen was is also from Philly, but we're gonna try and get her back on inshallah a little bit later. She has some technical issues, but Jazakallah khair. And again, write your information, your social media, all of that in the comments so people can follow your work. And um, have a blessed evening. Stay with us as we announce the winners. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I want to thank everyone here. I want to thank primarily uh, for hosting us on their platform every single year when we host this. It's just an amazing success. And I can say, alhamdulillah, from the bottom of my heart, I think this was phenomenally successful. So, jazakallah khair. I want to say a special jazakallah khair to, uh, to Hani for doing this, for doing the very, very difficult job of judging. It can never be. Thank you so much. And may Allah reward you and, um, you. and uh, you know, for taking the time out. You're also a mother. So, <laughs> You know, it, I know it's difficult juggling uh, duties, so I'll hold you for that. And um, yeah, do you have any closing remarks, Aisha? Um, I just wanted to say that um, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. May Allah bless all of the viewers for attending. Um, I pray that we all benefited.
an event without our poets. Um, now, saying that as well, um, I'm not sure if you can see me. Okay, you could see me now. Um, no further ado, uh, you can find The Strangers on Instagram. Our website is in the works, inshallah. So please do uh, definitely follow up with more information about the Uyghur campaign, uh, which is a current campaign that we're doing. We hope you enjoyed the letter, the final compilation. Um, a lot of heart went into it from our poets. And thank you again to everyone. And of course, Sister Tahani, you did an amazing job. Jazakul khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And ikna. Of course, ikna. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I just want to say the greatest thank you to all of our poets for contributing their pieces. Each one was mind blowing and touched my heart. And I'm sincerely saying that as someone who's been to a lot of poetry slams and had a lot of poetry over the years, as Tahani and as Aisha can both attest to, we had an amazing level of talent tonight. Um, so may Allah reward you all. And yeah, I'm going to close it right there. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.